brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video, we're going to show you a rear bumper replacement on this 2002 GMC Sierra. Uh, the, uh, as you may know, the bumpers on these trucks are prone to rusting out. Um, basic tools are needed. You need 15, 18, 21 millimeter sockets, um, as well as you know some screwdrivers and pliers for doing various little things. Uh, if your bumper is as rusty as mine was, you will need a sawzall or a torch to cut some of the bolts off. Okay, to remove your bumper on each side, you need to remove four bolts. There's two 18 millimeter bolts here. Okay, well actually they're nuts on the end of a bolt. There's a 15 millimeter right here, and then underneath, there's a 21 millimeter bolt right there. Okay, once you've got the four bolts out of each side, then you just have to remove these two 21 millimeter bolts. Now I'm not going to mess around with these, you're just going to go right out with the uh, air tools. So we need to get our plastic pads off of the old bumper. Uh, it's held on by a few different fasteners. Down in the bottom here is a pin that you're probably just pretty much going to ruin by pulling it out. And then a screwdriver. And also just taking a pair of pliers, squeezing it. So the, the middle of it comes out, and then this pulls out. And now here on the bumper, there's these tabs that come through, and you just squeeze them with a pair of pliers, and then pull on the plastic itself. So squeeze, pull. Okay, now you need to get your license plate lights out, which is pretty easy. Just take a screwdriver, kind of tap them down, then tap them out. Okay. Okay, the next thing is this tube for the tire. I'm just taking a, I'm taking a cold chisel. You can probably use a screwdriver or something. Okay. You have to through the teeth here. Yeah, I'm just going to fast forward here as I beat on it from all different angles and the, the retaining ring was just so rusted that it really wasn't worth saving so I just uh, basically you'll see me break it right off of here um, and then I substitute another retaining ring later on.
out. And the small thing is just these license plate clips. I'm just going to grab them with, oh, looks like mine are falling apart. Try and be careful as you can to get them out. So they're probably all pretty dry. These are pretty easy to find at a hardware store though or something. on the back side a little bit. Okay, they come out. Uh, if you do break them, you can usually find these in, the, in a hardware store, kind of in a specialty section. Okay, probably one of the hardest things is going to be getting these bolts out uh, because the bolts are actually held by the bumper and there's nothing left of the bumper. But what you want to do is coat them really good with penetrating oil first. Okay, I'm going to stop the action right here, uh, make an admission. I was not able to get any of these bolts apart. My bumper was rusted so badly that I uh, just couldn't use wrenches. I ended up having to cut them off with a torch. Um, there are 10 of these bolts in all. There's two each holding each of the side uh, brace brackets that you see here. And then the large, um, the large reinforcement bar that goes across the middle has six holding it. Uh, so I just purchased new uh, galvanized bolts from the hardware store and like I said I ended up cutting off the other bolts with a torch so you'll need a torch or a sawzall or something like that to get those out if your bumper is as rusty as mine was. So I've got my new bumper way down on its face. Uh, here's my main brace that goes underneath. I did take some black paint and recoated the back side of the bumper put a nice thick coat on it, didn't really worry about it running at all um, since that's where these things, they usually get salt and stuff caught up in here and they rust from the back side. Hopefully that'll make it last as long as the truck anyways. Uh, and then this main bar goes I probably should have sandblasted and repainted this bar, but that's okay. Half inch galvanized uh, hardware, right from my local hardware store. This washer, and lock nut, and a nut. Washer, lock washer, and nut. Okay, we'll fast forward as I do the other five. So there's six bolts total. And what I do first is just put the carriage bolts through, uh, put on a, a large flat washer, a lock washer, and then a nut, and kind of hand tighten them. And now using my socket and ratchet, I'm going to just kind of snug them all first. I'm just kind of, uh, if you just snug them all first, you don't tighten them up all the way, just kind of gets everything set right. And then once you have all six of them kind of snug, then you can go around and tighten them all up um, and nice and tight with the, with the ratchet like that. There's no real, you know, no real need to do any kind of a torque specification or anything on these. Now these are the main bumper brackets. Okay, top of the bumper. These slide inside of uh, this bracket here. And then I like to take the bolts and go from the inside and out. You want to put those on and then tighten the bolts uh, enough so they, you want to still be able to move those brackets around a little bit while you're installing it on the truck. Okay, we'll continue with the fast forward here as I install the side braces, which just requires two of the carriage style bumper bolts. Um, you want to put these on and just like the other uh, brackets, leave them, just kind of tighten them up snug with your wrench, leave them so that you can flex them back and forth. Okay, now take your bumper, lift it into place. Uh, make sure that the main reinforcement bar slides up over the hitch and then it's just kind of a matter of reaching in there 
make sure that the main brackets go inside the frame and then those diagonal uh, braces go um, outside the frame. And then after that I put in uh, the two large 21 millimeter bolts that connect the hitch to the bumper and just tighten them. I don't tighten them all the way. Uh, just get them in there more with the um, with the air ratchet uh, so that they'll just keep things steady. And I'm going to just start these 15 millimeter bolts right in here. Make sure before you start these 15 millimeter bolts that you push the brace in against the frame. Okay, so now I have it on with these two bolts started. Okay, and then the 15 millimeter bolt started, and the brace is right against the frame with this bracket. Uh, on the other side, not too easy to see. Okay, same thing over here. The 15 millimeter bolt started, the brace is right up against the frame. Okay, now you want to put your retaining bolts through and start the nuts on, and then you want to get them snug because after you do that, then you'll kind of adjust the bumper and tighten, start tightening things up to get it in the right place. Okay, what we're going to do is on each side, we're going to measure the distance top of the uh, bumper four centimeters on that side so now we can take and tighten up those 15 millimeter bolts uh, don't make them extremely tight but that'll keep the the bumper from moving in or out but you'll still be able to move it up and down okay once you tighten up those 15 millimeters then you want to make sure that these 18 millimeter bolts are snug they don't have to be tight, you just want them snug. Okay, once you have these snug, now you can tighten up your bumper brace bolts here. Okay, we'll use a little fast forward here. You're tightening those bolts up really nice and tight. And obviously we're showing you everything on one side, but repeat the same steps on both sides. Okay, while well, we're still under here, this wire harness back in place. Okay, so we're going to measure this right up to the tailgate. Seven centimeters on this side. A little over seven on this side. And what I'm tightening up here are the 18 millimeter nuts. Okay, so now I'll hit fast forward. You've got your bumper, you know, at the height you want it. Uh, as far as we already measured how far in or out it was. So now you can tighten up all the bolts. You want to make sure you tighten the two 18 millimeter nuts. Uh, then the bolts on the inside that hold the brackets to that main cross beam. And then you want to put in your large, um, I think they're the 21 millimeter bolts that hold the uh, bumper t also to the frame and to the hitch and then I always check those hitch bolts and do them by hand and make sure they're nice and tight. Okay, so now we put these plastic pieces back on. So this has some tabs. You have to make sure when you push it on, you 
push it down. Okay. Okay, I'm going to fast forward it as I uh, finish that up. I use a little hammer and a screwdriver to get some of those pins in. Uh, now I'll do the top right one, which is pretty easy. It has a locating pin and then just snap it down. Um, make sure you put the little pin in the end. And then the left one, same thing, snaps right down. Put your license plate on, your license plate lights in, and then your spare tire lock bezel and license plate light and then the little things for the license plate and then your license plate and you're all set to go. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.